Hi, I'm Christina McGoldrick with This Week in Santa Clarita. Right now we're here at the groundbreaking for Discovery Park, the city of Santa Clarita's first passive river park. The city council, parks commission, and other local dignitaries showed up to help commemorate the special event. Mayor Lorene West commented on the new Discovery Park groundbreaking and how the new site would benefit both residents and the environment. Well, this is a first of its kind. This is uh, along the Santa Clara River Trail. Uh, this is Discovery Park. It's a 25-acre park, and it's different because it's a natural passive park. It's our first one uh, in our attempt to integrate uh, the community with their bike trail along the Santa Clara River and natural passive parks uh, in the area so they can enjoy their river and enjoy their natural areas because we haven't done that before. I know this area is a significant ecological area, and Discovery Park is actually going to help to restore the damage that was done to the park in the past through recreational use. Um, this is significant ecological area 23, the Santa Clara River. It's very long. It runs all the way through the city and, of course, all the way onto the beach in uh, Ventura County. Uh, but we lost our concept probably of the river, you know, 50, 60 years ago. And as people came, uh, damage was done. And, and I don't think people can enjoy and appreciate things they can't get to. And so this allows you complete access to your river. Um, it's integrated with a bike path. There'll be some minimal parking. You'll have uh, natural native plants. And so the goal is to do a restoration of how the river uh, environment actually works with nature. So it'll be uh, very different from how we plant for, for soccer and baseball and football. And you'll actually be able to uh, enjoy bird watching. And there'll be a lot of critters here. And it's just... Uh, it's an effort to really give you back what originally nature intended and let you enjoy it, too. Definitely. Well, thank you, Mayor. Oh, it's our pleasure. We hope to have you come and join us uh, for the dedication in a few months, and we want everybody to come see it, enjoy it. This is just an amazing place, and you're going to love it. Right now, I'm standing with Rick Gould, Director of Parks, Recreation, and Community Services for the City of Santa Clarita. Rick, this is the city's first passive park here at Discovery Park. What does passive park entail? A lot of times when we build neighborhood parks, we uh, put amenities into the park that are designed for active play like uh, soccer or baseball or softball, those types of things. When we master planned this park back in 2002 and 2003, the community told us they were looking for a different kind of park. They were looking for something that complemented the neighborhood, that was quiet. And what we've designed here is a park that is focuses on trails, meadows, uh, low-key activity type um, uh, amenities in the park, and that's really the direction we've headed. Um, and it's also going to be very green friendly. The parking lots are permeable, so rainwater goes through, recharges the, uh, the groundwater. Uh, the meadows aren't going to take as much uh, water to irrigate, don't require as much maintenance in terms of mowing like you would see with the soccer field. So it really is a different style of a park for us. I know this park is situated on 25 acres, but only a few of them are going to be developed for the park. How is this going to help save this, this area of the Santa Clara River from future development? Well, by, by taking this park, it's along the roadside, so really no development can happen be on the other side of the park. But what we've also done is, is we've designed this park as a transition into the river, so it could be used for environmental education. You could come to the park, you know, begin an educational process, and then take a walk out into the river and look at the flora and the fauna and, and look for wildlife or species and stuff. So it's, it's really a sort of a, a, a passive area that is a little bit developed, really leading into the untamed portion of the Santa Clara River. Definitely a new experience for residents to enjoy. Yeah, we're really looking forward to beginning to be able to see what kind of programs we can run out here, more on the educational side than they are on the real active side that you see sometimes. That's it for us here at the groundbreaking of Discovery Park. Stay tuned in the coming months as the city celebrates the grand opening of its latest park.